Oh man. Don't you guys love the sound of um this euphoric music that you know we all know and love from this uh franchise? Poppy playtime, you know? It 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 always it always has a way to make you feel good inside. You know? It always has a way to make you, you know, remember all the wonderful memories that you've had with this, um, with this game, you know, through this music that you're hearing right now, you know, through this iconic, you know, iconic scream uh, for all their chapters, you know. It's always incredible how, um, how good the memories are of you know your uh, your adventures through this decrepit abandoned um completely dangerous factory you know all of the good memories of children who you know have died and people who have died inside of this factory you know and and it, it, it's always good to hold on to all those memories Except here, all those memories are gone. And now all that is left is just, a, you know, just the sentiment of desperation, fear, and, um, and sadness. And buckle up, because we're about to descend into hell. This is the real. Uh, the real title screen for chapter three and as you can tell you know as mob games or mob mob entertainment has mentioned this is this ought to be one of the scariest or if not the scariest chapter so far for poppy playtime and you can oh see it already right God. there on the screen so uh freaking catnap standing there on all fours looking all lanky and crap but you know doing what he needs to do and I am very scared I do not like um, I do not <laughs> I do not like uh, scary uh, <coughs> excuse me scary games that much so uh, this is gonna be fun I might crap my pants I may need to you know switch my underwear in the middle of, of recording sessions uh, but uh, you know um, that'll be what, it, what it'll be but yeah Welcome to chapter three of Poppy Playtime. I am the Gaming Kennel. Uh, I wanna, I wanna first, uh, firstly apologize for any technical difficulties I may run into. Um, I've tried so many times to uh, play this chapter, or test this chapter uh, before recording, and I've had so many issues um, so f uh, so far with like cutscenes kind of lagging, the audio uh, lagging behind. So if that does happen, you know. Again, I apologize for that. My computer, even though it's within spec, um, I guess just doesn't like Poppy Playtime. So, uh, let, let's see what happens. What's the time? Playtime! Okay, guys, I promise. All winds blow away. Eventually. Catnap! Please help us go to sleep, Catnap! We need it, Catnap! Please help us! Sleep! 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 <laughs> hey, 
Everyone knows Huggy Wuggy and Poppy Playtime, but are your children safe from Playtime Co.'s latest toy? What you've seen here is Playtime Co.'s own Smiling Critters, a limited series cartoon meant to celebrate the release of the toys sharing its name. Yet both now face the fire sparked by the inclusion of one key member. This is Catnap. And like the others of his line, you just pull his little tail and... seems innocent enough. However, parents across the country report their children experiencing strange and often violent nightmares. And beside them, their little grinning catnap doll. Now with controversy growing, Playtime Co. has announced the recall of all catnap toys from the Smiling Critters line. His image cleared from all promotional material. But damage already done, will disappearing be that easy? The exact cause of these incidents still unknown, only one thing appears glaringly certain. Your children are not safe with catnap. All right, guys, so it did work out. So I'm going to splice in the cutscene and we're continuing from here. Um, it's pretty cool, though. Um, seems like we're starting in the... Uh, uh, or with the perspective of uh, catnap, maybe. Yeah, that that is one hundred percent catnap. Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, the walls are caving in. Oh shoot. Uh. Yeah, I assume we go over here. Oh. It throws in a crusher! Unbelievable. By the way, if my game looks a little weird, like... Um... That's because I turned up the brightness. This game is really, really dark. So, you know, just... Need a way to be able to see... Oh. Okay, so yeah, where are we? Seems like we might be deeper into the factory. Okay. You know, I gotta say, you gotta love these environments. Uh, it's really nice. Actually, I'll go ahead and turn the brightness down a little bit. Um. That way, we can appreciate uh, the environments a little bit more. As you can see, I had to brighten this up all the way because, uh, yeah. Um, it gets really, really dark, and I am blind as heck, so, you know. Turn it down just a bit. Okay, press control to crouch. All right. Hey, look at that, it's, uh, there's a lot of, uh, fruit punch on the floor. Hmm. It's not good. We'll go upstairs. Yeah, it is dark. I way too dark. I really don't like it. All right, so we're coming through. Go up the stairs. I'm, like I said, I'm, like I said at the beginning, I'm really excited for this chapter because uh, we get to see, or we get to n learn more, lo uh, more lore. For what the heck is this? 
Mo 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 <laughs> Jesus, I can't talk. More lore uh, regarding what's going on in 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 uh, with uh, with Playtime Co. Um, and what her role is in all of this. Also, this is uh, some parkour, I assume. Ooh. <gasps> oh my god, it's catnap! Ooh, he's in vents. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. The heck is... What? No! <sighs> well, that's her first death. Um... Yeah, but I wonder what... Oh. Oh, oh, we're on the other side, okay. Yeah, I wonder what what it is, what our role is in all of this. I mean, we we know for chapter two, uh, based on what uh, uh, Mommy Longlegs uh, had said. There he is again. Uh, based on what Mommy Longlegs had mentioned uh, in Chapter Two, is that we are uh, we are an ex-employee of Playtime. Um, yeah, so we're an ex-employee of Playtime, and uh, for some reason we decided to come back. Um. Why is it so quiet? God, it got so quiet, I'm scared, actually. Go this way? Oh, we do go this way, okay. Oh, battery! Okay. Oh, this is a room where Catnap dropped those uh, in. Okay. And look at all that. Look at all that uh, uh, chair. Uh, uh, all that fruit punch or strawberry jam you know, all over the floor. There's the tape. Let's go ahead and play that. Miss Harper, please explain the situation. Spare no detail. Well, like any night, all the children were getting asleep. It was peaceful, quiet. Catnap had the red smoke in the room. Then suddenly, there was this scream. <sighs> Nightmares happen, I know, but this, I mean, dilated pupils and quivering lips. The way her eyes darted around the room, and I swear, her hand in mine, it felt like her blood was boiling beneath her skin. She saw something, too. Something horrible. She... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Okay. Miss Harper, we'll provide the very best care we can offer. You have my word. But this is important. Did Marie happen to describe what she saw? Yes. A monster, she said, said that it was <clears throat> colorless. Gosh. I could feel the poor little heart pounding. For her, it was right there. And her movements, they were so wild. Arms flailing, legs kicking. Hmm. I, I wanted to talk to her. See how she's doing. I, I just, I really need to hear her voice right now. That would not be advised, Miss Harper. There are many concerns we must address at this time. But vitals show normal, and we'll continue to monitor. She'll be okay. No! Well, pardon me if I'm not comforted by that. <laughs> Just bring my little girl back to me. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, seems that something must have gone wrong. Okay. Oh, there's another battery. Okay. Put, oh. Grab it. There we go. Hey, now we can power this up. 
Let's go! So we continue on and uh, now we have uh, uh, this guy. I'm Bubba Bubba Fint. Hey, I remember you. Bubba Bubba Fint. What? What kind of name? I'm sorry, what kind of name is Bubba Bubba Fint? Um, also, your voice sucks. An elephant always remembers. I'm pretty sure an elephant do does not always remember. If, if, if anything, I'm pretty sure that elephants have the worst memories, uh, of, um, of, of any animal ever in, in the world. Also, I want to, I want to say something real quick, because if we look at this design of, like, these creatures, like, these actual creatures, uh, these toys... Uh, whatever do you want to call them, these haunted, um, whatever. Um, these would actually look really, really cool if they didn't have the eyes like that. Like that, that's kind of what makes it creepy. It reminds me of like um, the FNAF animatronics, you know, where you know they have the black, uh, the black eyes with the uh, white dots on them. Um, if they have like if they had like normal eyes where they you know they had like pupils and and, and and whatnot instead of that, these would actually be actually genuinely really cool toys to have. Like I think, I think so at least. Want to know what I remember about you? What do you remember about me? <laughs> Is that what you remember about me? Okay, dude. Whatever. I can't, uh, can't pull you. Okay, fine. Yes? Hello? Who's calling? There's an elevator here. Does not seem to be operational. The heck happened there? Oh, okay. Shut up, I'm coming. We got more strawberry jam on the floor. Guess I gotta get in there uh, faster. Okay, what do you want? Hey, hey, can you hear me? <gasps> Is that Gregory? I don't want you to die, so <coughs> I'm gonna help you. Okay, Gregory. Look at the two things on the back wall. Ready? Look, boom! You can use that battery to open the door. Excuse me. Yawning over here, unprofessional. Uh, what's up, G uh, Gregory? Uh, thanks for helping me out, bro. How you doing? You and uh, you and Freddy doing okay? I hope you and Freddy are doing fine, bro. And uh, you know, last time we saw you, you weren't doing so fresh. Oh. Whoa! Did you do that? Uh, yeah. I guess that's where Catnap found you. I know you're probably mad at Poppy for not letting you escape, but she needs you. We need you. You are our mission. Am I? Together, we can save a lot of people, including you. Lake here is straight ahead. It's the home of Catnap, one of the smiling critters. There used to be eight of them, I think. Okay. Now it's just him. Lake here is his church, his hunting ground, whatever he wants it to be. You better get moving quickly. We'll keep in touch. Oh, and by the way, my name is Ali. Nice to meet you. Hi, Ali. Um, I'm guessing I can't go that way. This is really cool. Like, what what mob entertainment uh, what the team at mob entertainment has been able to do with environments is really really awesome like i, I don't know I, I think they've done a really good job with this and um 
you know, it, 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 it it's really cool to see how they continue to improve on the quality of the, uh, of the, of, of, of the game with each chapter. Of course, each, each chapter seems to be getting more expensive, but, uh, there's a, Chapter one was like five dollars, and chapter two is ten, and now this one is fifteen dollars. So you know. Also, yeah, even if even if the train wouldn't have crashed down there, you know, we still would have crashed down here anyways because it seems that the you know the tunnel caved caved in. But this is really really cool. This environment overall. Like you again. I, I'm sorry. I'm gawking over everything, but like you see all the 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 lights and the you know and the, as the arches and everything. It just seems kind of interesting to me. It seems really nice. They really try to make this environment um, feel welcoming. Um, also, that seems like a puzzle in there. Okay. So, okay, so those are red, so we can't go through that. Laker, is this Kissy Missy? Seems like it. Maybe this was her world before uh, Catnap died, or not died. Uh. <sighs> Excuse me. Ah, goodness. Unprofessional, stop. Security. Okay. <clears throat> Man, all of this old technology uh, just looks, you know, it takes you back to like what to those times. Also, are we playing freaking? Uh, we're playing FNAF right now with all the cameras. You know, this, it, it, it's cool that it, it's it's kind of cool that you know old security booths used to be like this a uh, whole bunch of CRT TVs. Anything I can interact with here? Nothing. Can I call the cops? Can I can I can I leave, please? Okay. Man, how how much time has had to be have gone by for this place to just go, you know, to be in such a state of disrepair? Okay, grab the handle, rotate. Okay. I grab the handle and rotate. Ah, okay. Okay, so then... So if I do... Oh. Game was loading. Oh, these are working now, okay. Wow, this is, man, this is amazing. I, I, I don't know, but I, I find environments like the, like these to be really cool. Candy cats, candy cat snacks. Uh, poor candy cat. We never really got to see him. Uh, I can't read what that says. I'm too blind. See the world through. The, uh, See the world through the eyes of a child. Uh, on El El Elliot's Express. Hey, I'm Chicken Chicken. Want to go outside and hang out? Uh, no, because you seem like the type of guy that's... Uh, you seem like the one in a group who does weed. You, you're just too cool... 
too cool for school. Doing uh, we. I don't know. You seem you seem like that type of guy. It's looking pretty bad outside. Is it? I don't want. I don't know. I don't want to go outside with you. I, I you you kind of scare me, bro. I'm not gonna lie. You. I, I, I don't know. I've never been outside before. Well, that's the story of every gamer, you know. I haven't been outside in like 332 um, days either. You know, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, so, you know, it, it, if you haven't been outside, at least, listen, at least we can relate on that because I haven't been outside either. And so, you know. It, Will you come with me? I'm uh, scared. I don't know. I I don't know. The sun, I, the sun. You see, the sun, the sun, and I don't really have a good, uh, you know, a good relationship. You know, usually when I go outside, you know, and the sun tries to burn me. So, yeah, I, I don't know. So, I mean, but if it is you want to go outside, you know, I'll let you go outside first. Here, follow me. Okay. I'll step out first. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's a good idea. You go. You go ahead. Well, he's dead. <laughs> son, son, uh, son killed him, I guess. <laughs> Look at this. What does that do? Nothing. Oh, there's another one over here. That seems kind of dangerous. I don't even want to get in that. Oh, well, yes, here we go. Transition! Or loading screen, yes. It's a long loading screen. There we go. Elliot Ludwig. When you look around at the world today, what one thing do you think it needs more of? Weed. I asked around once. Money. I never have enough. <laughs> Understanding. I can never get any. Faith. The common man has lost it. Each answer <coughs> is different. And I could perhaps see some little truth in each. But I think each was also missing something. Is it? Something simple. You see, this gives me like Half Life vibes a little bit, or Portal, or kind of like Portal Stories Mel a little bit. A smile bit. is hope. A smile is love. A smile is understanding. I guess. And there too. is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. For it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where our children need not be afraid. One where they are protected. After all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile. They deserve all right, we're going into hell right now. And they deserve a safe home. Ooh. That is why it is Damn with it's enormous not. pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co, I announce Playcare, our own on-site orphanage. But it's not only that. It's a school, a playhouse, a place to belong. Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a child's smile its teachers and counselors mothers and fathers until such a time they have all of that in you may play care bring joy inspiration and smiles to all who wow. enter these doors for what gives life its meaning if not a smile Hi, Ollie. Cool place, uh, I mean, right? uh, Gregory. The kids used to live here. Now look at it. Anyways, do you see that statue in the middle of the room? 
Take yeah. the stairs that go under it. There's a really cool room in there that powers literally all of Playcare. I can give you a key down there. Yeah, look at the look at this place. Like this is what I mean about um uh freaking uh what's oh Uh, uh, th that is exactly what it, this is exactly what I mean about like, um, mob entertainment and, and, and the team working on, on playtime or, uh, yeah, on probably playtime, just being able to create something this cool, like this place is amazing. And the fact, you know, <clears throat> going into the game's lore, the fact that Elliot and, and playtime went or, yeah, Playtime Co. went into such detail to basically... Or, or, or they went to such crazy extent to try to make uh, this stuff happen. Um, to, the, you know, these experiments happen and stuff to the point where... Is this Braun? It seems like Braun seems to be, like, one of the... Yeah, yeah, it is Bron. Bron is one of the lambs. Nice. Uh, or is the lambs. Um, but the fact that they went to such extent uh, to try to make these, experiment ha uh, these experiments happen and everything, to that they built a freaking dome underground to basically have children in them. Uh, no, no, thank you. I'm not really gonna be reading these descriptions because I can't read, it would take me forever. Okay, shut up. I know who you are. I don't, I don't care, dude. Dang, what happened here? Chicken, chicken. That's what his name was. Hi, I'm Bobby Bearhug. Want to know how much I? The what? what? Hi, I'm Bobby Bearhug. Want to know how much I love you? The audio cut off there for a second. Dog Day says fetch. Hi, Dog Day. Cool. Piggy Piggy. See, like, these characters would be cool if we Just had... Go under the statue. Shut up, Gregory! I don't think that's possible. Anyways, it would be, like... It, 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 it's really... I don't, again, I keep reiterating the same thing, but... Um, it's crazy they went to this extent to basically just make this place... You know, just to be able to experiment with children. Uh, it's kind of scary. This is like a generator. Yeah, this is the generator, I guess. Powers everything. Okay. Where are you, Ollie or Gregory? Whatever. Okay. Okay, I got your key. Got the key. Now the question you're probably asking yourself is, where does it go? Well, head back out, and you should find a door just to the left of the cable car you took down here. Okay, a door left to the cable car. Uh, you mean that door over there? Store. I think this says employees only, something like that. Okay. Loading screen.
All right. What is this? Oh, this is Cat B. Oh, Cat B, you're so cute. I love you, Cat B. Don't forget to don't forget to wear your mask, okay? I'm having a couple of frame Welcome issues. To the gas production zone. Whoa. The beating heart of the whole evil play care system. All that gas you see coming from the machine is made right here in the factory. It's called the red smoke. Right now, it's all headed off to the right. We need to make that red smoke go left instead. That's how we can get to him. The machine okay. will probably have a few dumb safeguards for you to work around, but I think you can do it. I'll call you once it's done. Okay, so it has no power right now, okay. So red smoke, you say. Man. You know, it, it, it kind of... It's kind of weird how... Does that do anything? No? Not yet? Okay. It's kind of strange how this place has been able to continue operating. Even though everybody basically has gone missing for like years upon years now. And like, you would expect the government to kind of step in and be like... Wait, or the government to be like, hey, we we haven't gotten our you know payment. What what what's going on? Well, let's go check on this company or whatever. See what's happening. Uh, there's a battery. Who is this cat now? Dude, what the heck? What? Okay, I'm not pressing that again. All right. It's a giant vault here. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that just doesn't do anything yet. Let's go. All right. Scrap Pack 2.0. Okay. So hard to see what the screen is, is doing. Hmm. 
Okay. I'm assuming this is the new grab pack? How do I... Oh, snap. We got a flashlight. Let's go. I don't know how to turn off the flashlight. Oh, check this out. That is so cool. More strawberry jam. having to freaking traverse your workplace with this that that's kind of that's kind of you know osha osha would have a lot uh osha would have a couple things to, to say about this you know Ooh. Ooh, at least you can move in the air though that's kind of I didn't make it. Yeah. I fell in the river of blood from all the children. Okay, at least it spawns us here. Okay. Alright. Ah, no. Okay. So that didn't work. How long have I been recording for? Okay. Ooh, I made it. Ooh, I made it up here somehow. Okay. So now we got to bring this all the way over. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Oh, goodness. Uh... Actually, hold on. Wait a minute. Alright, so where is this one pointing then? That's that's kind of cool. That's kind of awesome. Oh, so it opened that one. So now if I
Oops. Uh, let's go that one. Okay. Okay. So I think I got. I think I got it. Now. So if I hit that one over there. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. That is so awesome. I love that. And now what? Okay. Oh, this door is open. Okay. Restart. Ooh, there we go. Oh, stop. Um. Hi, Ollie. Or Gregory. Oh, no! Someone killed the power. Okay, I sent you another key. It's under the statue. Use it to get into home sweet home. Then once you're inside, find the building's backup generator. Good luck. So I'm just going back now. All right. Okay. Uh, this is scary. Certainly. Oh, look. Wait. Did someone destroy this? Oh yeah, someone wrecked this. It had to be catnapped. Look 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 at the look at the claw marks. Look at that. Yeah. production hmm. oh, freaking okay well apparently we got to go to home sweet home or something like that to um, uh, turn on the power we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and do that next time so thank you guys so much for watching remember to like uh, subscribe and tick that notification bell that way you're notified every single time I upload a video like this one. Thank you to Orange Man Front for being a supporter through Patreon and um, yeah uh, just thank you guys for being here um, uh, this is gonna be scary I don't know if I'll get to complete this um, hopefully I do but we'll see what happens again Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.